Hello, this is Irfan from Javelin Technologies bringing you what's new in SOLIDWORKS 2013. So what I have here is a model made up of a solid uh, or three solid bodies and then on the side three surface bodies. So when I create the mesh, there we see we have the solid mesh on the solid bodies and what we have is a shell mesh on the surface bodies. So then one of the new features of SOLIDWORKS Simulation 2013 is the ability to render shells as 3D. So if I want to sh see my mesh as 3D, I can go ahead and select Render Shell Thickness and that will show me the shell mesh as a 3D mesh. And this will eliminate any errors I can have due to the top surface or the bottom surface because I see the surfaces as 3D surfaces now and I can see the continuity of that orange mesh that is used to identify the bottom surface of the mesh. After I run my analysis and I can see the results, again within the results I have the ability now to go ahead and render my shell elements as 3D and pretty much like what we used to have in the beams I can have now for shell elements to be rendered as 3D bodies and that again gives me uh, the ability to uh, eliminate any need for using the top or the bottom faces for the shells. I can now look at my results in 3D without need for, of selecting the top or the bottom surfaces and as you can see uh, there is now very little difference between the 3D rendered shell results or the sh solid body shells or sorry solid body mesh. Thank you.